keep seeing these posts and they're cute. Like I get it. I understand. And I relate to it to a point because like I'm dating to find my person. I'm not dating to find another parent for my child. Like my kids have a dad. They don't need another one. But at the same time, if you don't have the capabilities, like you don't have the character of a parent and especially the desire to be one, I don't want you. And I especially don't want you in my kid's life. My kids are with me all the time. Like this, this is my lifestyle. I'm a mom. You're going to have to be a role model. This is what's going to happen. It's inevitable. You will be in their life if you are dating me. Like I will be damned if I ever let somebody around my children that don't want that for themselves, that don't want this lifestyle for themselves. My kids are not going to be surrounded by something like that. And especially the types of people that say, oh yeah, I can do it, you know, whatever. But they resent it and they show that resentment on you or that resentment on your kids. That will not be my children's lives. So if you are not fully capable and fully ready to be in my, my life and my children's lives, it's literally never going to work. You have to want it. If you don't, then do not interrupt our lives. Kindly go away. Good luck. The males get very upset when I reminded them that they are born at the wall and women are always desired at any age. So they come back with their BS. Oh, well, we don't desire you for more than sex. Oh. Let me remind you of who you are. Right now, as we speak, there are men buying toenail clippings, armpit shavings, skin whatevers there are men paying women to text them to talk to them on their phone to step on them there are men who pay me to come and clean my house and there are 60 year old women who have men come and clean their house okay as in the man cleans and the man pays men are begging for intimacy men are begging to talk to women men are begging for commitment men are the ones who get down on their knee to ask a woman to marry them no matter how rich they are okay so remember who you are and start earning women's attention or you will die alone nasty bitch I'm always, I wake up alone, I go to sleep alone. Where's my phone going? Even my phone is trying to leave me alone. Like, I don't have a great relationship with my family. I am single and my mental health issues will not allow me to be in any sort of healthy relationship. I don't have friends by, by choice because I don't trust people. Not my problem. She said she's not looking for another parent for her child. Then after that, she completely contradicts herself by saying the guy has to be a role model for her child and be in her child's life, which makes him essentially a stepfather. She's trying to trick you! She does have a point, and the reason why this happens is because of the unlimited supply of simps these women have that degrade themselves to do these things. What kind of a man pays a woman to fart in a jar. This is the degradation of mankind as we know it. And hopefully my channel has woken a few men up. She is lying about women always being desirable though. Facts. Know your worth girl. You are a 10 out of 10. You are single by choice. You don't need no man. You are a strong independent woman. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She's single. Real men of genius.